Hello students, how are you all? I hope everyone fine. In last video, we saw equation of tangent and normal using slope point form and uh, differentiation. So to, now we, I'm going to use those formulas to solve some problems. Okay. So the first problem, slope of the tangent of the curve y is equal to x cube minus x at x is equal to 2. Okay. So we have to find out the slope of the tangent to the given curve at the given point. Point is given to, okay, the curve is also given. So what we know, the slope of the tangent to any curve is dy by dx at the given point. So what what we should do we should differentiate this so what is the differentiation of this 3x square minus 1 now differentiation at the given point what is the given point x equal to 2 so dy by dx at x equal to 2 is 3 into 2 square minus 1 so simply by this you will get what is asked so it is 3 into 4 that is 12 minus 1 equal to 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. So, this represents what? The slope of the tangent to the given curve at the given point. So, whenever they ask find slope of the tangent to the curve, differentiate and the substitute the value of x, you will get the answer. Just an example. I hope you understood. Okay. So, next. This is a prop. These are the problem from the exercise. So, first question from the exercise. Find the slope of the tangent to the curve. 3x power 4 minus 4x at the given point so very simple so already one example i've shown okay according to that you're going to solve this problem so very simple start your work what we should do differentiate this and substitute x equal to 4 try money on sala last example adhe tara in kastaila try money yeah so first you take this and differentiate quick so differentiate you know okay it's simple and also you know what you have to how to find out the slope of the tangent slope of the tangent using the dy by dx at x equal to at x1 y1 correct huh? i hope you did yeah what is differentiation differentiation is 3 into x power 4 differentiation i get 4 x cube so 3 into 4 is 12 x power x cube by 2 differentiation of 4 x is 4 okay differentiation is done now what we should do yeah replace x by 4 huh, calculator you can use calculator to solve this problem huh, 12 into 4 x 4 cube minus 4 4 cube 1 raised to 4 square is 16, 4 cube is 64. So, 12 into 64 minus 4. Definitely, you can use a calculator to calculate this. So, 64 minus 4, which is 768 minus 4. So, 768 minus 4 is 764. So, what does this represent? Slope of the tangent to the given curve at the given point. So, slope of the tangent to the curve at the given point is 764. For. Calculation part of the math is simple, right? So remember that dy by dx at the given point represent always slope of the tangent. Then put it This is also one very simple. A calculation will mistake mark, but it mistake either simply you lose a mark. So remember that. So I hope you understood because this is a very simple concept. Next problem. Question number two. Find the slope of the tangent to the curve. You know y is equal to x minus one by x minus two at Okay, x should not be equal to 2 because when x is equal to 2, this whole thing will be 0. I mean, this is something by 0, so it is not defined. So, at x is equal to 10. So, again, co concept and the procedure is same as that of the previous two problems. So, what we should do? is then differentiation model, x is equal to 10 and a substitute model. How you can differentiate this? Ha, you know that, right? So, I will show you that answer. So, consider y is equal to x minus 1 by x minus 2. Okay, and you know what is the slope of the tangent represent? What is slope of the tangent represent? Slope of the tangent of the given curve at the given point is dy by dx at x1, y1. So, what we should do? Differentiate. Hey, differentiation model using quotient rule. Okay, so try. Yeah, dy by dx is x minus 2 into differentiation of x minus 1. This is not compulsory. You can directly write the differentiation. x minus 1 into differentiation of x minus 2 divided by denominator square that is x minus 2 you know whole square simplify this differentiate and simplify simplification is compulsory so it is x minus 2 what is the differentiation of x minus 1 yeah right 1 minus x minus 1 will come as it is ha huh, then differentiation of x minus 2 and agatha 1 again so divided by x minus 2 whole square denominator and expand nobody again Correct? Uh, x minus 2 minus x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 whole square. Next step in a bracket and open mark. Okay. So it will repeat again the last step. Bracket open mark. Okay. So in other x x cancel minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 by x minus 2 whole square. No need to simplify further and the denominator and expand mark. Now what is us? dy by dx at x is equal to 10. Alva. So we need slope of the tangent to the curve at the point x is equal to 10. So find out put x is equal to 
10. So, slope of the tangent to the curve at x, x equal to 10 is dy by dx at x is equal to 10. And then replace x by 10 minus 1 by 10 minus 2 whole square. So, simplification go to there. So, minus 1 by 64. You know the slope can be negative also. Confusion can be negative. It is, it, slope can be negative. You know that you studied in first PUC. So, remember answer is minus 1 by 64. I hope you understood. A little difficult part. A quotient rule apply model. Correct. Simplify model. Remaining part will be very simple. Application of derivative part is very, very simple. How to solve? Yes. So, this will be the final answer. I hope you understood. Yeah, very good. Next question. Find the slope of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x cube minus x plus 1 at the point whose x coordinate is 2. Huh, this I will give you as a homework problem. Just note down this question and practice. A coordinate, x coordinate is 2 and no, x is equal to 2. Adalai no confusion illa. x coordinate is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2. Differentiation one do, replace x by 2. You will get the answer. I hope you can solve this. This is a homework problem. You have to practice each and everything. If I solve, what is your work? So you are going to solve this problem after differentiation, replace x by 2, right? I hope you will solve. So I'm moving to the next question. Next problem is find the slope of the normal to the curve x is equal to a cos cube theta, y is equal to a sin cube theta at theta equal to pi by 4. Huh. So last few problems for finding the slope of the tangent. Alva. So here we are going to solve find slope of the normal. So, normal formula, norm, slope of the normal formula go to the no, minus 1 by dy by dx at x1 by 1. Okay. That's why I will cast it in part of either differentiation. If you, okay, if you do the differentiation of this function perfectly, then very, very easy to find out slope of the normal. Yeah, how differentiation make parametric function differentiation. Alba. So, consider the function x equal to a cos cube theta, y is equal to a sin cube theta and differentiate. Okay, which differentiation required? Parametric function differentiation. I hope you remember that. Huh. So, parametric function differentiation. If those who not remember, okay, those who don't know, just see this. Parametric function differentiation of x is equal to f of theta, y is equal to g of theta is dy by dx equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So, y you could here, x you could here, so differentiate. Better, which is better to differentiate first? dy. Okay, huh. So, dy by dx is equal to dy by dx, same formula, okay. Huh, what is dy by d theta? The, what is the differentiation of y is equal to a sin cube theta? A will be constant, right? It will come as it is. How you will differentiate sin cube theta? Yeah, using chain rule, you can differentiate. You consider that is x cube. Differentiation of x cube and I got the 3x square. What is x here? Sin theta. Huh, so, differentiation will come like this. 3 into, alba, 3 into sin square theta, x square, then differentiation of x, what is x here, sin theta, what is the differentiation of sin theta, cos theta. In the same way you are going to differentiate the next one, x is equal to a cos cube theta. So, x a will come as it is because it is a constant, again x is cube, x cube differentiation and I got the 3x square, so 3 will come x square you know cos square theta next differentiation of x what is x here cos theta what is the differentiation of cos theta minus sin theta differentiation are title this is not new for you same problem we did in a parametric function differentiation on the previous chapter okay so differentiation i hope you understood now check what will happen simplification first in cancel a cancel agate three three cancel agate Sin, one sin square theta cancel with this sin, sin theta one cos theta cancel with this cos theta right so simplification is as follows so, sin theta into sin theta into cos theta, sin square theta will become sin theta into sin theta divided by ha, cos theta cos theta into minus sin theta. Ha, now, again sin theta sin theta cancel, cos theta cos theta cancel. So, what is remaining? Sin theta by cos theta. What is sin theta by cos theta? Yeah, tan theta. Sin theta by cos theta is nothing but minus tan theta because of this minus, okay, it becomes minus tan theta. Okay, now what is asked? Find slope of the normal to the curve. Questions are correct. Go to the exam. Let's substitute my final answer. The slope of the normal is asked. Okay, if you substitute whatever asked, okay, whatever given in the question theta here, you will get slope of the tangent, not the normal. Okay, but we should substitute. There is no other option. Okay, dy by dx. What is the answer? Minus tan theta. Okay, now in dy by dx, minus tan theta, substitute theta is equal to pi by 4. Minus tan pi by 4. What is tan pi by 4? Tan pi by 4 will be equal to 1. So, slope of the tangent, okay, this will give the slope of the tangent to the curve is minus 1. Then, we the final answer. In question, Kotere, find the slope of the normal. But what is this actually? Slope of the tangent to the curve at x is equal, at x equal to pi by 4 and it is equal to minus 1. Arthaita. Ha. Now, how to find out slope of the normal from this? Yeah, you know that slope of the normal, slope of the normal 
of the curve at the given point is minus 1 by slope of the tangent. Alba, minus 1 by slope of the tangent. That is minus 1 by minus 1. So, what is the answer? So, therefore, what is slope of the normal to this curve? Slope of the normal to this curve is 1. Slope of the normal to this curve is 1. Artha hai thik bandhan thale. So, question correct ha godi. Normal and the kota ga illi underline maadi sumne bit pedo. Underline maadi it's not a problem but do, you should continue after that. Artha hai ta. So, slope of the normal to this curve is minus 1 by minus 1 is equal to plus 1. I hope you understood a simple question but important thing is the parametric function differentiation which you did in okay, the previous chapter. Fine? In a doubt? I hope you understood this work. Okay? Fine. Next question. Find the slope of the normal to the curve x is equal to 1 minus a sin theta, y is equal to b cos square theta at theta is equal to pi by 2. Huh. This is similar to previous question. So, again this question for homework. Because this is similar to previous question. Definitely you can solve this problem very easily. Because again parametric function. Okay. Again they ask find the normal to the curve. So you are going to work out. Antaita? Yes. Very good. So I am not going to show this answer to you. It is your work. So I am moving to the next question. So next question is find the point at which the tangent to the curve y is equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 7 is parallel to the x-axis. Okay. So, uh, finding slope of the tangent and slope of the normal, I hope you understood because two, two problems, none mud in one problem. Okay. New homework martyre. So, bekada sago. So, now I am moving to the next type of problem in this exercise where you are using the same concept but the given thing is different. The required thing is also different. Find the point at which the tangent to the curve, okay, is parallel to the x-axis. See, in first place you learn if any line parallel to x-axis, if any line parallel to x-axis, then slope of the that line is ha, 0 a parallel line and then a horizontal line slope of every horizontal line will be 0 so we are using that concept in this particular problem to find out the points at which the tangent is tangent of this curve is parallel to x-axis okay so take one point on the okay point on the curve as a p of x comma y then if any line parallel to x-axis then its slope will be 0 so slope of x-axis is 0 so slope of that line is also 0 so this okay diagram can be like this but di drawing diagram is not compulsory this is just for you to understand in very little pervagila it's okay manageable so take a curve y is equal to f of x the point is x comma y tangent is parallel to x-axis as we know if any line is parallel to x-axis its slope will be equal to 0 as well as in this chapter we learn that slope of the tangent is nothing but dy by dx of the curve at the given point alba so differentiation model substitute okay x comma y is x as x comma y so nothing is there because x1 y1 thought substitute mark back but okay here x comma y so nothing is there to substitute directly equate with zero because tangent is parallel to x axis diagram are there so given dy by dx at x1 y1 is equal to zero because tangent is parallel to x axis and this represents slope of the tangent since it is parallel to x axis slope of the tangent is also equal to zero now you are using this to find out the point p of x comma y fine yes i'll show you now how to get the point so consider the function you know y is equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 7 what we should do we should differentiate this with respect to x sin n p del 1 again you got the at least on the function could rather than differentiation money very no more because one marks it okay so differentiate dy by dx is equal to 3x square minus 6x minus 9 okay and we know that dy by dx is equal to 0 because tangent is parallel to x axis so directly you are going to equate this with 0 that is 3x square minus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0 equate with 0 and solve this a fine okay values of x since it is a quadratic equation it's not at all difficult to get the values of x so proceed shall i show you answer yes Take 3 outside, x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Factorization is not at all difficult. Tell me the factors. Yeah, the factors are x minus 3 and x, x plus 1 equal to 0. So, what are the different values of x? x will be equal to 3 as well as x is equal to minus 1. x equal to 3 as well as x is equal to minus 1. Now, what is asked? Point. Point under no x coordinate, but y coordinate. Since they ask find the point, the value underline model. It's a part of the answer, but it's not a complete answer. Complete answer is no x with y coordinate. So, for these two different values of x, you are going to find out the values of y using the equation of curve and you will get the two points where the tangent is parallel to 
x axis okay so take that two different cases where x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 1 so first case when x is equal to 3 so where we should substitute in this equation you should substitute then the, in the equation of the curve you should substitute so x square will substitute mari so in barate y is equal to 3 cube minus 3 into 3 square minus 9 into 3 plus 7 simplifications you have work i'll just show you the answers then explain mali kogal nim gothide okay so it will come like this right so here 27 27 cancel alva plus minus the cube made cancel made idu 27 alva plus 7 minus 27 plus 7 enagutte minus 20 this is the y coordinate of the point when x coordinate is equal to 3 so answer is 3 comma minus 20 okay when x is equal to minus 1 again substitute here 1 cube minus 3 into ha in barate y minus 1 cube 3 into minus 1 whole square plus 9 into minus 1 plus 7 minus 1 cube in agate ha minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus 1 minus 9 minus minus plus 9 plus 7 simplify this okay it will be 12 so which is another point when x is equal to minus 1 value of y is equal to 12 so it is minus 1 comma 12 so at these two points the given uh, tangent is parallel to the x axis for the given curve so final answer is huh, minus minus 3 comma 20 sorry 3 comma minus 20 and uh, minus 1 comma 12 so this will be the final answer i hope you understood so remaining problem i'll continue in the next class thank you